on this episode of Gadget. We're burning down the house without burning down your data. We've got the solo from IOSafe. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the California Province of the Society of Jesus and Gateway. And welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, if you've watched the show for any length of time, you know that I like storage. Any kind of storage. Flash storage, rotating storage, portable storage, RAID storage, that's redundant array of inexpensive drives. I like the devices that allow you to keep more of your digital stuff, documents, pictures, videos, whatever. It goes along with the Uber Geek lifestyle. And I also recognize that you need several different types of storage, not just one device, not just two devices, but several different types so that you can have a device that will take your data from one place to another, a device that allows you to replicate your data across the cloud, so it's in the internet in case you need something for disaster recovery. You need a fast network-attached storage, a RAID array, so that you can have one or two drives fail and still have your data at your fingertips. Now, we're going to add another product to that category, and that is the bulletproof, fireproof, waterproof, indestructible storage case, the Solo for MyoSafe. The Solo is a product line from IOSafe that is touted as disaster-proof storage. The Solo encases a 500GB 1 or 1.5TB SATA drive within a USB 2.0 enclosure designed to withstand fire, flood, structural collapse, and other natural or unnatural disasters. It can withstand a 1550 degree fire for 30 minutes and is waterproof for up to 3 days in 10 feet of salt or fresh water. It's pretty much made to survive the worst day for your home or office. At 15 pounds, there is clearly something different about the Solo, but the exterior of the case is relatively simple. The back of the unit has a power switch, USB 2.0 plug, venting for the fan, a 12-volt power plug, and a bolt-down mounting for locking the Solo into place. The front panel has more venting, as well as a set of pleasant blue LED lights for indicating when the drive is in operation. Getting the unit up and running is as simple as connecting a USB cable, hooking up power, and turning it on. Our test showed that the Solo performed as well as other SATA to USB enclosures, measuring just over 33 megabytes per second read and 33 megabytes per second write on iometer. The disaster protection of the Solo starts with its outer shell. Made of two interlocking steel U halves, it's designed to resist crushing, puncture, slashing, shearing, and anything else to the internal components. A quick note to all who like to tinker with your gadgets. The Solo has a few tamper stickers that will show IOSafe if you've been messing around in the enclosure. I suggest that you not open the Solo unless you want to miss out on the $1,000 protection guarantee that IOSafe offers for data recovery. Just inside the shell is IOSafe's proprietary data case endothermic insulation, a ceramic that traps water molecules within an emulsion that ablates during high temperature events, also known as a fire. This allows the hard drive itself to remain below 200 degrees even as the shell is reaching almost 1600. Opening the data case reveals flow channels cast into the ceramic. These allow air to circulate through the unit during normal operation, keeping the drive and supporting electronics cool. However, in a fire these flow channels are automatically sealed by a series of poly tubes that melt under high temperature. As the tubes melt, the flow channels are closed, keeping out fire, smoke, and water. The final barrier of protection is IOSafe's HydroSafe Vapor Barrier. Essentially an airtight, watertight bag, the HydroSafe Barrier vacuum seals the hard drive, allowing the drive to survive moisture, high pressure steam, smoke, and immersion while still allowing the drive to be cooled by air coming through the flow channels. Enough about the specs. The question you probably have is, how does it fare against disaster? Well, just watch. One, two, three. So, uh, we can talk about what's going on on the inside, uh, too, but there's an airflow through the side. Uh,
At CES, the IOSAFE crew first dunked the Solo into the pool before exposing it to a flame that approached 1,500 degrees. They kept a standard hard drive in a tray above the Solo to demonstrate what would happen to an unprotected hard drive in a similar disaster. Needless to say, nobody will be recovering any data from that drive in the near future. After the fire, they hosed the Solo down, exposing it to the sort of extreme thermal variances that would be present at a disaster site. Removing a few screws, Rob Moore, the CEO of Iosafe, opened the Solo and we were amazed to see that though the unit had been in the fire for more than 10 minutes, very little of the ablative data case ceramic had been cooked away. Though the shell was scorched and the SATA to USB interface was cooked, the hard drive was cool enough to touch and completely dry within its hydro-safe bag. Uh, it's not too warm, it's about 100, 130 or 40 maybe. Yeah. You can see that the outer, outer package is wet. A lot of that's from, you know, the pool dunk. The insulation has water embedded in it. It's outgassing uh, steam to keep things cool. So After cutting the drive out of the enclosure, Rob Moore plugged it into a USB SATA interface, revealing that the drive was still in perfect working order and that the data we had placed on the drive before the demonstration was still accessible. As far as testing goes, this demonstration was pretty conclusive as to the efficacy of IOSAFE's approach to disaster-proof storage. Though enough time underwater or in a fire will eventually breach the defenses of the Solo, IOSAFE has designed the drive to survive what would be considered the average home or small office fire. Coming in 500 gigabyte, 1 terabyte, and 1.5 terabyte storage capacities, IOSAFE warranties the Solo for three years. It is priced at 149, 199, and 299 respectively. So let's start with the negatives. First of all, this is not a portable unit. Now you probably didn't think it was with the size and all, but let me stress that it weighs 15 pounds. I mean, it is not something that you're gonna wanna move between your home and your office. In fact, it's not designed for that. It's designed to be in one place. That's why it's got the lockdown cable. It's not designed to avoid disasters. It's designed to survive disasters. Now, let's also talk about speed. Now, we the speed is, is actually pretty good. I mean, for USB 2.0, it's right up there with the, the, the highest performing drives, but we would like to see more. I mean, okay, this is us getting greedy, so it's not really negative. It's more of a wish list. If they had put an eSATA connector on this thing, uh, it would have double, triple, quadrupled the throughput and made it a much more useful product without sacrificing any of the integrity. I mean, it was just a little extra slot. You know, for, for those people who are just saving pictures and using it for backup or, or using it to as a primary storage for, for documents, that this will work just fine. But if you wanted to do video editing off of it, you might be limited by the speed of your USB bus. That being said, you know, this is one of these products that really does exactly what it's been designed to do. It It, it is a disaster resistant box. I mean, it will survive being drenched. It will survive being cooked. It will survive being crushed. I mean, this thing is designed so that the building could collapse around it and you could find the box and uh, pull the drive out. And yeah, the enclosure might be toast, but you'll still have your data. And that's the important thing. Now, uh, two other points to remember about this is first that IOSAFE is putting up $1,000 of their own money in case the drive enclosure should fail and the drive itself should get damaged. Now, that's probably not enough to do a complete drive restore, but it does say a lot about how much well, trust they have in their engineering skill. And I think it's well rewarded because this is just, it's a wonderful box for surviving a disaster. It doesn't have any new technologies, but what they've done is to take existing technologies like this shaped case with the uh, the, the double clamshell, the, that ablative foam that has water built into it so that as it burns away, it pulls heat away from the hard drive. Those flow tubes, the, the poly tubes that are passive protection technologies, which essentially means that as it heats up, as it needs to, it will close down without any power, without any switches. And that's just really, really cool. But above all, I think what IOSAVE has done is they've given you a choice between choosing a regular USB enclosure with a regular hard drive or buying this for, you know, a $20, $30, $40 premium. And if you are looking for disaster-proof storage, well, there really shouldn't be any choice. Don't mess with your data. 
if you want something that's going to protect your data, if you want something for your home office, for your small office, if you want something that you can have confidence will be around even after the worst day in your business life, might I suggest you take a look at the solo from IOSafe. You can find out more by going to their website at www.iosafe.com or come to our website at www.thetechstop.net and read the full write-up. You can also find a tab for all of our gadget episodes. If you want to send us an email message, either about this episode or future episodes, please write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you. <laughs>